Welcome back to my podcast. And I think today's video is going to be talking about the story behind my exes. So, and how I knew they were a bad influence on me. So, before we get into this video, I just want to take a few minutes to say, if you have something to talk about, here's the place you can talk about things with me. If you want me to know something, this is the place. This channel is safe to talk about things. And it's safe to talk about your feelings. Anything we got to talk about, let's talk about it. Also, hit like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Thanks. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. So, I want to talk about how the story behind my ex and how I realized that they were a bad influence on me. So, the story about my, all of my exes, um, which the first one I had, which was in actually elementary, I had my very, very first. Actually, it was in um, I used to be kind of because I didn't know what any of this means. I didn't know until um, uh, second grade, I kind of realized that this was wrong. Um, and I dated girls. Literally, I did. I dated Keegan, which is a girl who goes to my school. And we were friends, but we're not anymore because of a reason that she, I knew that she was a bad influence on me and that she kind of turned me against my friends and stuff. Um, in second grade, there was this girl named Amelia who was kind of dating my first boyfriend, Darius, which um, that relationship did not go too well because um he dated Amelia and uh just things were not going too good um when I got a little older which was in fifth grade um I dated this boy named Jermichael, which we had a long-lasting relationship until he moved to Georgia. But, um, it, he was a good guy. He was actually a great guy until he kind of broke up with me um, to move for Alina because he was very interested and this girl who goes to my school named Allie, who's Chloe's best friend. Um, I kind of was upset about the whole thing, but I let it go because um, I just, yeah. And then this guy named Kevin. Really, I didn't want to date, but I got the right to date him in seventh grade, which that didn't go too good. The relationship was not um really a good one, I should say. It, 
my it was just very wrong and kind of weird and it all kind of started out with the text hi i like you out of the blue and i just told him i'm happy being single and then we got in, it's just this huge huge fight that he would just do stupid things to just take me off um and the problem i had with these people who i dated like in the grades that i was in I feel like that they used me just to kind of uh, get my attention. Which I think that when I got played, I got kind of, I don't know, I felt pressure on me to like... I don't know how to explain it, but, like, I felt like dating. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm thinking about something. This is just, I don't know. I have these thoughts where if I'm quiet for like a few seconds in my videos, I'm thinking about something. Don't ask what. I don't know. I just have these quiet thoughts that I don't know why, but I think about them. But, um, yeah. What what would I say? Oh. The, pro the problem with people who I dated was they used me and I felt kind of pressured and they kind of wanted things for me sooner or later I kind of figure figured out that they were taking advantage of me which my mom tried to tell me you know these people are taking advantage of you and I kind of told them you know of course yes because I was and I'm still nice about it. I just, I felt like people wouldn't understand, you know, how sweet I was and how I would let people do things without realizing. Now that I think about it, I'm at, I'm out of age that I feel like I never should have dated these people. A. Oh my gosh, it was so wrong. And B, I did not know I was getting used at the time. Like, who would have thought that I was getting used? And I should have said something about it. But knowing me, I did it. But, I mean, at the time, I was kind of crazy, too. Because um, I should have, you know took the time to think wait why are these people using me the people who are using me for money well one of them one of the guys i dated the other person was using me just to kind of get someone else eventually i figured the guys i dated i should never have done that in the first place and I like someone else and no I'm not gonna say who because it's none of y'all's business no offense <laughs> but he goes to my school that's all I'm gonna say if you check out my own, uh, other channel you would see what I'm talking about G. that's a sign but that's all i'm gonna say i'm not gonna give any more details 
but I'm just going to give this that be careful who the people you date because if they use you, which honestly, I kind of thought these would last, but at the same time, I kind of wouldn't. And if I have gotten older, if I kind of knew that this was going to happen, I would never have dated these people in the first place. I mean, one dated me until, like, it was his birthday. And on his birthday, he dumped me for no reason. Like, literally no reason. I felt kind of pressured and kind of... I don't know, lonely at the same time, because why? What What was I thinking? And my grandpa was right, you know, the guys I dated. My grandpa warned me, and I should have listened to him. October 17th is kind of when my heart got crushed of 2023. Um, it was the 17th of October, 2023. When I realized that my heart got crushed. Um, and I was out of school that week. The first week I was out of school, it was because of my grandpa who died. The first week of October, um, October after his birthday. Um, the second week I was out of school, which would have been to the 17th, to the 17th, um, I kind of was in pain after a breakup, which I was crying like crazy. Believe me, girls cry when, like, boys dump them. I know how this works. I got dumped several times. This is not new, but I kind of was a little, oh, not actually a little. Why am I lying and saying a little? I was a lot crushed, and believe me, I was alone. The week that my grandpa died, I texted my ex, and I told him, you know, well, we weren't even ex, but, like, back then. But I texted him, and all the way in August, I kind of was... See, we dated in November 2022 last year? Yeah, 2022. It was going on 23. We dated in November 2022, which, um, that's the first time when we dated which he asked me out and then December he figured out that I was coming to a school but it also took me some time to kind of think I, I can't do this and I was in seventh grade back then when it finally hit me was um the last week of December, I knew something was up about the way because um, of 2022. I texted him and I called him and I thought he was cheating on me with my friend, well, my ex-friend who... Um, we don't talk anymore, which I kind of was very worried because, like, I cried and cried. This girl, he was telling me about, like, he was just talking to her a lot. And I was like, okay, can you do me a favor? Can you call this person? And she did. Turns out he was, but he wasn't. I don't know what he... I don't know. And then, over the summer, symptoms, I realized he was cheating on me. And in August, I was... I told him my final decision, which I said in October, on your birthday, I would come to your school. 
And then it all really hit me, which I I knew something was up because from October of the first week, he didn't seem interested in what I had to say. He really didn't. And then it all hit me. And you know what broke my heart? Is that he used me to get to a girl. October 17th. He was also asking me for money. So the moral of the story is if you have a boyfriend, husband, or anyone who you're with, the moral of the story is please be protective and also before you date them you need to ask them questions and wait a few weeks because you know the people you date they say that they're gonna do this but they don't and they cheat on you it's obvious that the people i previously dated it just no i it was complicated and now i feel like i'm in a better place of 2023 of 2024 the end of 2023 i realized i was in a better place 2024 i still realized that i'm in a better place and guess what i am still in a better place that's how i know that i belong and i'm perfectly fine out these people because what am I gonna do like they're gonna come back to me sooner or later and come get me back you know what I'm gonna say no I'm good I'm good because you really should have thought about that before you used me for money before you used me gen in general so no the answer is no if these people wanted me back, absolutely not. And the people I named, which I'm gonna, like I said, I went off the list at the beginning of the video. Um, yeah, absolutely not. I I realize, like I said, I realize they're all bad guys. Okay? Moral of the story is please, please, please be careful of who you date because people are going to be cruel out there and they're going to say things that will break your heart and they're going to use you. And they're going to... Because I thought, like, Kevin was kidding around. But, um... He pushed the limits when he was talking about my mom and... He was actually recently threatened to kill me and my family, and I I didn't take that well. And I still think about this like I'm scared like to any move I make or et cetera, et cetera. I still don't know what to do, and I still don't know where I am or what I'm. You know. It's just me. Me, myself, and I. I still feel like I want the respect, you know? But I get the respect, too, because I understand. This is a cruel world out here. And I still... I still... Tr I still don't trust myself about, like, for people. So, yeah. But thanks for watching my channel and i hope you like this video and let me know what you would do in the comments and like i said if you have anything you want to talk about then let's talk about it please hit like subscribe and turn on that notification bell
Bye.